Okie dokie. A third example for this one showing how to graph this surface or graph this function in Excel. Uh, so if you prefer to avoid using Excel, feel free to check out the one, ex uh, the one video where I go through all the different types of functions and how to kind of like memorize what to look for in the function in order to identify what the function might look like when graphed. Um, but in this one, I'll show you one more version of graphing this in Excel. So the goal is to graph this in Excel in order to get, let's see if I can get the right curve here. Uh, I think it should be this curve would be our answer. So we're going to talk about how we would graph this to get that curve in Excel. So we start in A2, and what we're going to put is negative 5 to 5, since these are our Y values on this left side. So we highlight these, click and drag this down to 5. So these, again, are our Y values. And then across the top, we will input our X values, starting with negative 5, negative 4. Click and highlight these, and then click and drag this bottom right corner until we see a 5. So now we have a setup uh, Y values, X values, and we will plug in the function into this cell B2. So we hit equals, and then we'll do X cubed, but anywhere we see X, we want to hit B1, but specifically we want to put a dollar sign in between B and 1. So B dollar sign 1, anywhere we see X, we will cube this, and then it's plus 2 times X, which is also B dollar sign 1, and then times Y, which is negative 5, A2, but we want to make sure we put dollar sign A2. So the order for the for these is very specific. So B dollar sign 1 for X, dollar sign A2 for Y. So then we'll square that Y and we'll hit enter. So this should be the function value at negative 5, negative 5. And then because we put those dollar signs where we did, we can click and drag this bottom right hand corner down and then we click and drag it across and it fills in all these function values for all these different X and Y values. So now we insert we go to recommended charts, let's go to all charts, and then what we'll go to is surface, and we'll click on this first one. And then you may have to stretch it out, you know, kind of adjust it a little bit to kind of get what the image should look like, but hopefully this should be distinct enough to give us this image here. So hopefully this makes sense, and you should be able to distinguish this from the other potential answers. Um, but that's pretty much it. Hopefully this makes some sense. If you need other examples to check out, check out the other two I've worked out on Excel. And if you want to avoid Excel, check out the one video where I go through all the different types you might see in this question.